Season two of I Can See Your Voice returns tonight on Fox as our very own Warren Boyette got to sit down with one of the show's performers from actually season one. I'm joined here with Heather Yeomans, former of the tap dancer, I Can See Your Voice. Great to have you here on Fox Morning News today. Thank you so um, much for having me. Yeah, I just want to talk to you. A uh, new season starts tonight. I Can See Your Voice. I just wanted to talk to you since you were on it last season. Uh, what was your experience like on I Can See Your Voice? It was really the most inviting and positive experience that I had on I Can See Your Voice for season one. I was part of the group of people that were the guinea pigs for the entire show in the U.S. So when I was cast on the show, I didn't really know how it would translate to the U.S. and what the flow of the show would actually be like. So I was learning about all the different you know, bells and whistles as we were on set. And it was really exciting for me too. We filmed I Can See Your Voice season one, kind of in the thick of the pandemic, but it was very safe. And we didn't have a live studio audience. I'm not sure about season two, if there is a live studio audience or not. I want to say maybe, it's just my guess from watching the I Can See Your Voice Holiday Spectacular the other night. It actually sounded like real people in the room laughing, but who knows. Um, it was a really great experience. I couldn't have wished for anything better. I got to sing and tap dance all on the same show which are my two favorite things to do. And everybody on set, Ken Jung, all the celebrities were just so nice to me. Well, after the show, what, what have you been up since the show last season? What have you been up to since then? So since I Can See Your Voice season one aired, I got to tap dance on national TV and sing. I've been able to release a lot of my own new music. I've released three singles. They're called Shine a little closer to happy and worth it, which is my most recent song that I released. There's a music video online. I've also been doing a lot of national anthems. I recently just sang at Staples Center in Los Angeles for the Los Angeles Kings. And I also did some baseball anthems back this spring in Southern California, which is where I live and where I'm from. Uh, for the Oakland A's and also for the San Diego Padres. And when I sang for the Oakland A's, I had a national anthem go viral on TikTok. It has about 3.8 million views right now. So what are you most excited to see with this new season starting tonight? I am so excited for the Golden Mike feature in season two. I think it's brilliant. When I was watching the I Can See Your Voice Holiday Spectacular and they brought on Shaq. I just thought that was so brilliant. And I went on Twitter, I commented about it because I think it's really cool to have a lifeline feature like that. Uh, it reminds me of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, some of those other really popular game shows. And having that feature just elevates everything so much. Um, I'm also really excited to see who the Golden Mike guests are and also who the musical superstars are for season two, because that's always a treat because we get to hear them sing, whether it's in a train wreck duet, uh, that's hilarious, or a beautiful collaboration. So I can't wait to see all the surprises and the guests that are in store, but also the secret voices because they're always so creative. Like you never know what you're going to get in any given episode. And I'm ready to live tweet. I'm ready for the surprises. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The other performers that are on the show, when you got to watch the other performers, the contestants trying to guess, did you see for yourself, it was really hard to guess if the, the singers were really, really their voice or could you really tell by their actions or how that play out? You know, it's really hard for me to guess still, even though I've worked on the show and I know certain things about how the um, the singers present versus the non-singers. But the minute that I think that I have that right, I'm wrong. So there really is no formula to figure out who's a good singer or who's a bad singer. But I think that Cheryl Hines, judging from the, the Holiday Spectacular, she really has an edge and she's been getting a lot of guesses. Right. So I would watch Cheryl. That was Fox Morning News' Warren Boyette reporting. He's actually 
up in my ear right now. He's our director. Don't forget to tune in to I Can See Your Voice, season two, right here, Fox on Fox at 8 p.m.